What's going on guys? I picked up some five liter space saver containers from US Plastics. Um, what I was looking for is, instead of having to pour out of a funnel each time to refill some of my bulk detailing supplies, I was looking for pumps for the various bottles. I was running into the issue of trying to find ones that cost decent and also work fine. And it's kind of hard besides just buying Adams ones to find ones that work or that you know are gonna work any cheaper. So ended up picking these up. They're about $10 a piece. They come with a spout. They are five liters, which is a gallon is 3.79 liters. So you can fit a little bit more than a gallon in one. So this is like 17 inches for six. And these six gallons is slightly over two feet. So you'll be able to get another couple of gallons per shelf. Plus you can fit over a gallon per container. This one, the detail spray is full. So, cause I had two gallons. So I put a partial of my next gallon. So I'll be putting them onto my shelf in there in a second, but they got a nice little spout on it. I'll show you how, to, how they work to fill up a couple of my bottles real quick and then we'll put it in. The only thing I have to work on yet is I have to order some printable stickers for these. Person on Obsessed Garage Facebook group did send out the templates for these. Even though I do have McGuire's All Purpose Cleaner, I'm gonna put an Adam sticker on there just so that it's uniform. Otherwise I'd have five of the one and one of the other. So I'll show you how it works to fill up one of the bottles and I'll put them in the cabinet and we'll see how that works. Very nice, convenient with the pour, pour cap as it fits in there. You don't have to worry about pumping, gravity doesn't work. You will have to tip the jug for the last little bit, but should make it nice to top off your last couple bottles. What I did have to do, as recommended on that group, the original person who purchased these and tested them out, was you had to put pipe thread tape. It's cheap, you can get a couple of them for a couple bucks from hardware store, put it on there to keep them from leaking. These bottles are the right type of plastic so that acid wheel cleaner will not eat through the plastic. So that is good, so it should be safe. I did six of these for six of my gallons and only the all-purpose cleaner leaks. So I added a little bit more of that thread tape. I'm just gonna let it sit out on my bench for another day just to make sure it doesn't leak. Then I'll put it in. So real quick and easy. Fill up my wheel cleaner and I'll be ready to go. Wheel cleaner smells like ass. So boom, two seconds and you're done. So let's put it in the cabinet, see how that goes. As you can see, they are a great way to dispense and top off your bottles if you're buying in bulk to save some money. Um, once I had the labels on there, it should look pretty clean and professional. Um, if you're storing on an outside rack that doesn't have a door, you can leave the spouts facing down and put them over the edge. I could put a few of these facing out, but as soon as I get to this, I'd have to flip it back down and all the jugs would be out of alignment. So don't fill them too often. It's still quicker than using a funnel. So I'm gonna try this out. Seems like they're gonna work really great. Give me a little bit extra room. I can always bring the shelf down lower because they are slightly shorter than a normal bottle. But overall, for about three dollars more than just a hand pump, you have these space-saving containers. I think they're going to be awesome. So in the future, I might add a couple more. But for now, six is perfect. Now we got an extra half a shelf. Bottom shelf is pretty empty. This will be gone. Selling that to one of my buddies. Great stuff, but. Thanks for watching, have a great day.